Hello and welcome to the final edition of BHS TV News of the 2022-2023 school year. My name is Anthony Doria. We will talk about our, a review of our Blackhawk Spring Sports, the last Ables Academy of the year, and a special segment for me, Anthony Doria. I'm Reese Bendis and this is your BHS TV Sports Report. Let's kick things off with the girls soccer team and reigning state champs, who are currently holding a remarkable 8-3-1 record. They recently secured the district championship on Thursday, displaying their exceptional skills and determination. Now shifting gears to boys baseball, they've had an impressive season with a solid record of 25-10-2. They're eager to capitalize on their success and make a strong playoff run this year. Moving on to girls lacrosse, they've been an unstoppable force on the field with an outstanding record of 15-1. They are poised to put up a fierce fight in the playoffs and fight for that state champ title. And last but certainly not least, we have the Bloomfield Hills girls softball team who won their district on Saturday, June 3rd. Good luck to the team on June 10th at regionals. With another exhilarating spring sports season, our high school athletes showcased their talent, resilience, and unwavering dedication from the triumphant victories to the hard-fought battles. They left everything on the field. This has been our sports report with Reese Bendis. Abel Du Chateau for the final edition of Abel's Academy. Horror movies are some of the oldest and most popular movies of all time. They've caused a change in not just the film industry, but also society as a whole. I'm Abel Duchateau with this year's last edition of Abel's Academy. If you couldn't tell already, I'll be talking about horror movies. Since the 1890s, horror has been a key component in the film industry. Many believe that the first horror movie of all time was a French film called The House of the Devil, which came out in 1896. However, horror movies have changed in the past 130 years, with a drastic increase in popularity since the 1970s. Filmmakers have created different horror subgenres. Some popular examples are psychological horror, slasher movies, splatter movies, comedic horror, and zombie apocalypse films. Horror films also have a history of reflecting what society fears most at the time. Movies like The Shining and Friday the 13th show examples of violent crime, which was on the rise during the 70s and 80s. Movies from the 50s and 60s were much more realistic in their horror due to the Cold War causing a lot of fear in people's daily lives. Horror movies exploit these societal fears to highlight an issue or use them as a call to action. Horror movies have also changed society and culture as well. Overall, people have gotten used to blood and gore in movies and television due to how horror movies have gotten more and more violent over the years. Due to today's high exposure to gore and violence in mainstream media, people in our current generation are able to tolerate more violence than some previous generations. And with that, we conclude this final episode of Ables Academy. I hope I've been able to teach you about some of the topics I've talked about this year, and I hope you have a good summer. Great job, Abel. It's amazing just how much movies have developed over the years. We begin talking today about the beloved Apple TV series, Ted Lasso. The season three finale for the show aired on May 31st and certainly didn't disappoint. But most fans were left wondering if this would be the end of the show. While there has been no official word, writer and star of the show, Jason Zudekis, has said that it is the end. Quote, this story is done. It sounds like such a political answer, but it's the truth. We only conceived these three seasons, then this thing became this big old thing. End quote. While it may seem all hope is not lost, there are many spin-offs that could happen. I believe that we could see one where Roy Kent is the new manager of the AFC Richmond team, or one about the AFC Richmond women's team, something that was seen in the final episode. Only time will tell what will happen with the show, but I can't wait to see what happens next. And that concludes this edition of BHS TV News. We thank you all for listening and for the support you have given us throughout this year. We can't wait to see you next year. I'm Anthony Doria, and thank you for watching.